In this segment, we're going to be making some handmade papers out of plain old sandwich wrap using uh, shimmering mist, Guatemalan green, some of the extender that I have put in a spray bottle, one of our pure color consecrates called nutmeg that I have an eyedropper that I'm going to be using to drop in color in, and in this particular uh, four ounce salsa cup, I have put a teaspoon of some of our uh, pure mica copper, it's just plain shimmering copper mica. I'm going to mix up with some of that extender. Oops, need a little bit more. A really bright copper because I want to bring a copper influence into this paper that I'm making. Okay, I have two pieces of sandwich wrap. We're going to start on the bottom one. Shake up my Guatemalan green very well. Dribble some of that Guatemalan green randomly. I've taken some of my pure color concentrate, mix it up, got some of that color, drawn it up in an eyedropper. Again, randomly laying the color out. I'm literally going to take that dropper and draw some of the copper right along into this nutmeg. Kind of introduce a more coppery look to the nutmeg. I kind of like how these two colors run together. Then I'll take this fan brush and splatter some color all over the top. Okay, let's set all that aside because I'm going to need some room to show you both these papers after we pull them apart. Take your sandwich wrap, the top piece, kind of crumple it up just a little bit. It does not have to fit perfectly. As a matter of fact, the more uneven it is, the better. Then I'm going to take a rubber brayer and brayer purposely across the seam, across this paper and to try to create a seam in the paper. Move it back and forth till all that color is moved out. Some of it may come up from underneath. You can see that my table has been well protected. I use uh, paper placemats that I buy at the restaurant supply by the way to cover up my table if anybody's wondering. Again, I'm working it. I'm working it. I'm pushing every inch of color out I can. Okay, let's see what we've got here and how gorgeous did this paper turn out. Ah, beautiful marbling. Now I do have some lighter areas here. And more than likely I'll be doing a little bit of a spray or if I really wanted to I suppose I could add a tiny bit of this extender. Drop a couple, just a little couple little drops of that color and just rub my finger in there so there's a light 